time to wake up. All right, what you need to be loving is watchdogs. That's what you need to be loving. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't heard shit about it yet. Really? Nope. I'm actually kind of excited for it. Oh man, I'm excited for it, but I just like I haven't been looking up shit for gaming at all. That's why I kind of miss working at GameStop because like I didn't have to look up shit. Oh, I work there. That's because you're too busy being a grown ass man. That's why. That's what happens. <sighs> being an adult is hard, bro. Yeah, dude. It's it's been uh, ridiculously difficult, but anyway, um, I wanted to talk to you about. Um, so remember when we were playing Watch Dogs back in the day, and uh, we used to play the free roam together, and it kind of sucked because we couldn't hack people, and it was it was difficult to decide how you were gonna murder people unless you turned hostility on or turned hostility off, and I I always thought that was stupid, but um, you remember uh, the AR things. I really wish we could have played those co-op, man. I really wish we could have done anything co-op, to be honest. Like, there was nothing to do other than just roam around. Like, it got to a point where me and you just started, like, making up our own game. The game like, just became something in, in its own. Like, it just kind of... It just kind of happened. We were just like, man, you know what would be cool? Is if we ran all these people over and then, like, blew this and then played cops and robbers and blah, blah, blah. blah. It turned into, yeah. like, a game of Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> yeah, and I, that's what I hated about the turning into Grand Theft Auto. My, because I I really don't care much for Grand Theft Auto. Like, it's fun, but... Uh, so, when, like, I played it, like, I loved it. You, I wasn't as hype about it as you... But when I got the game, oh, I, that's all I played. Yeah, the concept of being able to hack stuff in that game was just so cool. Like, being able to control streetlights and trains and cars and all this other cool shit. Like, I thought that was dope. Because I would be pulling... I, I, I know you remember this. I would be pulling off some dope, crazy shit where I would go, be going 100 miles an hour down a street and then all of a sudden make a 90 degree like turn into an alley, pull up the fucking bars behind me <laughs> and anybody who was chasing me, bro, they didn't have a chance. Like... I was wearing my favorite jeans and I shit my. my... <laughs> You're wearing your favorite jeans and you shit yourself. <laughs> well, like, thanks, man. Yeah, man. Like, because I, uh, I know we didn't get a chance to play Assassin's Creed Unity together, and I'm kind of glad because I, I, I felt like that Wait. probably would have been a clusterfuck. Oh, and... I. Like, we, which game did we play? We played number three online, right? Yeah. And, like, that shit was hella fun. Unity, I could do it. Oh, I we also played it. Black Flag. That was the other one we played for like a good That's three months one. together. See, that was a good one. Yeah, I feel that like one. That one co op would have been fucking perfect. Unity, in my opinion, was just. It was terrible. It was just booty cheeks all over the place. But like, I, I played a bit of it, and I was like, I'm done. From what I've been able to confirm from like the creative director and some of the developers and uh, the community managers, is that um, they haven't necessarily said that anything about co-op campaign but they you know there obviously are co-op missions in the game but mm -hmm. i'm looking forward to the whole game being co-op like how cool would that be like after you finish the game then you can go through with your buddy like one of us plays as uh marcus and the other one plays <laughs> as wrench personally i would want to play as wrench just because you know i'm cool like that <laughs> <laughs> but uh like imagine that like almost having a cheat code like where somebody's able to like help you throughout the entire game um kind of like remember when we used to play ghost recon and like Serg you and sergio would just do crazy shit while i'm like actually trying to play the mission <laughs> yeah but see the crazy shit would end up working right That's it's like me. it's like okay we're gonna sneak into this building then sergio just like drives a truck into it just like fuck that <laughs> No, no, I remember, I remember him literally yelling, uh, wild card, and we're like, fuck. <laughs> Every time we would hear him scream, like, I, I really wish Metal Gear 5 would have been like, like, could you imagine that being co-op? That would have been fucking dope that to play. That would have been sick as shit, man. Oh, yeah. man, like, that would have... Oh, it was also you and me who played uh, Splinter Cell, right? Like, we played Blacklist together, too. Mm -mm, I didn't play that game. You didn't play that? Oh, I think that was Melvin I probably played it with, but... I don't, it, I mean, I don't fuck with Splinter. 
it was essentially the same thing. Like, it, it was just really fucking good. Like, you could uh, approach any mission any type of way to where, oh, if you wanted to go around the back and be completely stealthy, you had the ability to do so. Or if you wanted to just, like, run right in and take out as many guys as you can. Like, that's that's the concept that Watch Dogs needs to have. Like, it, it needs to be able to... Uh, yeah, give you all these options to finish certain missions, but I want to enjoy this with my friends, you know, I don't want to enjoy this, I, I don't want to sit here and play this by myself, and, um, another thing that I've been able to notice is that they have a seam seamless online, so you remember how in, um, I think it was, what was that other game we played where, I think it was Watch Dogs, where we, I was just able to jump into your game and you didn't even know, um, no. Yeah, it was Watch Dogs. Yeah, it was it was Watch Dogs. There's been a couple of times you were where like, I'm gonna fuck up your shit, and I was like, Nick, you better. Yeah, right. And it's just like you didn't even know. But even even in Watch Dogs, it wasn't it wasn't very good because it's not like you could jump into your friend's game and hack them. You could like jump into their game and like fuck around with their free roam and then leave, and then nothing happened. Like like other people's like decisions to jump into your game had no result on your campaign whatsoever. And I really hope that changes in Watch Dogs too. Like. If you do play with with a with another player, that their notoriety in their version of the game, like when you get offline, like their version of their notoriety <laughs> should be higher because of all the bullshit that you pulled in somebody else's game. Yeah, I really just hope they they're more stuck on co-op and not less on single player, but like I want I want to play with my friends the way I want to play. That's all I want from Watch Dogs 2. And the ability to hack, not just, like, like random shit. Like, I want to be able to, like, rob a bank and hack some shit in there. Yeah, that would be that would be dope. I would be I would love to be able to like rob a bank or something. That would, that would be I remember cool. one of the main things, one of the main gripes we had was that we could only like hack certain shit that was kind of like eh, whatever. It wasn't like there wasn't like multiple hacks that you. Did, and then you would hack this huge thing and then you'd get a lot of rewards from it. It was just kind of like, yo, we can have hack this like street lamp. Like a hack or like a hacking type of heist or something. Yeah, like shit like that. They really need to do that. And even though I just like said I don't like Grand Theft Auto, their heists are the shit. I remember doing one and I was like, uh, I'm gonna I'm stop. I'm gonna get addicted if I'm gonna stop. Right, I just I, I kind of <laughs> felt like uh that was the move for them to make, and uh, they they didn't necessarily uh, utilize on it correctly. And um, I, I mean, looking at Grand Theft Auto Online now is just like holy shit. Have you seen the the new update stuff that they're coming out with? Oh yeah, holy I've seen a bunch fuck, of it. dude! Grand like, Theft Auto is just destroying the game I mean, out it's here. Good, because you know that's how you're supposed to do it. Yeah, but it's got it's gotten to a ridiculous level where I'm just like, fuck, dude. Maybe I should have stayed on that. Right, yeah, it's a good thing I still own the game, but, I mean, the game in itself is just fucking ridiculous, so I, w I would really love to see a lot of that, um, that, that kind of, like, mayhem come to Watch Dogs Online, that, that would be really dope, and of course, you know, I'm gonna do a, a, a Top Dog series for that, hopefully, if they still have, like, the leaderboard shit, then, um, you know, the world's Man, gonna have to, have to dust his belt off. That shit was fun. Bro, that was that was probably the most intense sessions of gaming I've ever. Had I remember, life. bro. I saw them video. You were just, oh man, I, I remember seeing the anger in you. I was like, bro. No, I was man. always I, I was always <laughs> I was getting like, knocked out right. by some, by the same motherfuckers. So I'm I'm gonna hopefully try and get the game three days early. Hopefully, try, um, because you know my my guys who usually give me the hookup. Um, but who knows? Uh, it doesn't come out until November. So Ubisoft may be uh, willing to uh, send me a free season pass or something, some some kind of shit. They're just like, here you go, thanks for uh, being supportive, nigger. So, yes. <laughs> uh, it's like our main character is a nigger, right? Yeah, yeah, he is. <laughs> our main character is a nigger, right? Oh my god! <laughs> I was like, oh, you fuck you asshole! Like, you don't want this shit? Like, I mean, I do, but fuck, why you gotta be like that? Yeah, I'm I'm gonna drop sixty bucks for it. Either way, it's like I don't I'm, know what I'm, I'm gonna do. It's like I'm just like those those Naruto and like One Piece and those anime guys who are just like, oh well, um, 
we already know that uh, Storm 4, since it came out, it's going to be shit. One Piece Burning Blood, though, and then it's just like, nah. But Xenoverse 2, though, and it's like, nah. Like, <laughs> it's like one game at a time, and it's just going to keep rolling out. Like, like, if Watch Dogs 2 comes out and it's shit, which I don't expect it to be any worse than the first one. But the first one I thought was decent. I mean, I, I thought the first one was good, but I, I rate it like I rate the first um, Assassin's Creed. Like it was good. I like the idea. Oh, yeah, of it, yeah. You but don't it just put wasn't Assassin's Creed like, one at the t- at the top. Like, well. You just don't. Yeah, yeah. I personally, I think the second one was the best out of the whole of everything. I would want to agree with that. I think story wise, I think it was the best. Yeah, but story I think, wise. I think gameplay wise. Uh, like brotherhood was brotherhood best. yeah yeah brotherhood was like fucking i remember when they first had it online and i was like how the fuck are they gonna do online with this and when i played it i was like you know what let me take Actually, my dumb shit like back this is amazing <laughs> let me let me just shut my dumb ass up real quick <laughs> yeah i was like all right all right you so but um yeah i i think a lot of the like stealth components and stuff could come to watch dogs and hopefully we get to see a lot of that i won't know until i actually get to play it and unfortunately i didn't get to go to e3 this year so i didn't get a hands-on for it i hope they come out with a demo a demo like an open demo that people can play because that'd be cool that'd be really cool i would love to give my my two cents on that so but uh anything you want to add no not really i'm just really really excited for like what they're going to be doing because like you said they can only go up from here yeah i i I remember we agreed upon uh, like on that when the first Watch Dogs came out and we were like does this seem like this game is missing a couple of things like it's not as expansive as it should be it definitely felt like a fucking prequel you know oh yeah definitely like i just want them to like make the oh shit i don't know why i didn't hit this i want them to make the character actually like interesting as shit that would be dope. I forgot about that. Yeah, because like the main character, um, what was it? Um, blank face number one. I don't remember his name. Tyrone. Aaron, I think. I don't remember. This oh, you was mean from the first one? Uh, yeah. Oh, it was... oh, you guys are talking about the characters in Watch Dogs too? Yeah. Uh, well, we were no, really you know and now, what Tony just said. You know what I think Ew. they should do? You know, I think they should do the characters of the Watch Dogs. You know how a lot of games it doesn't have to be expansive, but like you know how a lot of those characters. They like in other games they have it to where to an extent you can kind of flesh out like where they go. Kind of like think about Infamous, but I think Infamous is a little bit too expansive in terms of to relate it to Watch Dogs. But you know how like you have certain like very subtle choices, and I don't know if Watch Dogs One might have had some of this because I didn't finish that game. But like to where you can to an extent actually like choose what your character does, like not just choose how they approach a situation, but like maybe there's like a, a certain scenario where you have to choose to save this person or save that person, you know, just like very subtle choices like that. So it feels like an actual RPG where you have the freedom to do what you want, like to some extent, I guess. I think every, every game that, well, it's kind of an RPG from, from the leveling system and all that in that regards. Like if you think of it that way, I think more games need to take uh, cues from Witcher three. Now, like I think now yeah, that Witcher yeah. three has come out, if Watch Dogs doesn't at least like kind of chime in on how how a game could play out, like there better be tons of side quests, but at the same time they better be very diverse. Like I don't want the same fucking side quests like we got in the first. I didn't want this to turn into a full like Watch Dogs, <laughs> like a full Watch Dogs discussion. I only wanted to talk about co op, but whatever. Um, they need oh wait, hold have- on, Jay. You know what? You know what it would be. Um, a good thing to take kind of take keys from what they could do with Watch Dogs. Um, I, when I played Uncharted 4, they had these optional dialogues where you could say different things to certain characters when they said something, and it wouldn't change the gameplay. Or, I mean, it wouldn't change the story in any way, but it would give you new dialogue options. And it almost gives you a reason to go back and play the game because there's multiple different conversations that you could have had if you had made different choices. So it increases the replayability in that respect too. Oh, yeah. I, I would definitely yeah. fucking love that. So. And hopefully all that stuff gets to play out in co-op. I think, hold on, I think I might have to end the video because my dogs are getting ready to start barking for some reason. What do you want, girl? What do you want? You're, like, you're worse than my girlfriend. You're you're interrupting videos right now. That's a no-no. Okay, but it's this. <laughs> but uh, is there anything else you guys want to add uh, specifically regarding, uh, I guess, uh, anything for Watch Dogs 2, really? Characters, well... I don't have an issue with the characters because characters from besides the main character, aside from like his nephew getting stolen, that's the only connection I felt for him. Um, one thing that the trailers is kind of, I feel like they hope they don't do is make him too black, like just black for no reason. No like, Lucio characters. 
Yeah, oh, come on, dog. What's you talking like kill? fucking Spider Man that they fucking um, Fist bump. made him an over minority? Like, we get it. Yeah. He's a minority. Chill. And because I, I feel like, like there's no developers at, the, at this Ubisoft team that's black, so they're just trying the best they can. Like, we must research black people, so this is the perfect I emulation. Actually, of black you know what? I actually Let's go listen to the Drake that. albums. I I was going through the different company photos that they have, and I was going through their Twitter, and I was going through everything. I went through what I went through Ubisoft, and I went through well, specifically the team that's working on Watch Dogs, and I also went through uh, Insomniac and Sony Santa Monica. No black people, none. Not a single black I person on that. staff. <laughs> there might and be like a mixed like, black. I actually, like I actually tweeted Sony Santa Monica. I was like, so you guys need a need to, uh, you guys need a nigger quota. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, did increase you guys that meet ethnic quota? diversity? <laughs> yeah, did you meet your uh, diversity quota? So, but um, for me, uh, I think uh, the one thing I'm gonna add into Watch Dogs. If like from what I've seen so far, if I had to add one thing in there, it would probably be uh, more Ghost Recon stuff. Because so far I've seen stuff from the division, like the co- the cover system, um, the different weapons and things like that. But we'll we'll see. Um, it's really too far to tell. So Since Assassin's Creed is so far gone, and this game is parkour. Let's have Watch Dogs replace Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, I'm I'm gonna try and connect the timeline at some point. We'll see. <laughs> I just, um, I don't know. I just want more diversity. I feel like after a while, I knew where everything was. I knew, like, what to do. Like, there was no sense of discovery anymore. So I really hope. No sense of discovery. I mean, you did run through the game in uh, the first 40 hours that the game came out, so. That don't matter, bro. (laughs) The Witcher 3. I'm I'm 40 hours in, and I don't think I beat the first boss yet. Oh like, my god, I know. Jesus Christ. That's how I felt. I was like 100 hours in, and I'm like not even halfway done with the game. Yeah, like I was like, are you ready to finally do this? I was like, what? Nigga, I've been this. And honestly, I know a lot of people like, complain about this, but that's what also they should do to Watch Dogs 2. Is like, there should just be so much shit to do to where you like lose yourself crossing the street because there's so many fucking things that interrupt oh, you. Oh, yeah. Definitely. It looks like, like, I, 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 like, I would, like, it definitely myself looks like it might be because there's like, when you're watching the gameplay, there's like cursors going off all over the fucking place and shit. Like, hack this, hack this, hack this. And I'm like, whoa, okay. Hold on. <laughs> like, remember Assassin's Creed Brotherhood? Remember when you looked at the map and there was just shit everywhere? Yeah, that was uh, like, that was a lot of fun. Trying to clear that entire map that. would have been a bitch, man. It was like it was like that video I did the other day with Black Flag where I was like zooming out on the on the map. Oh my god, like, no! It was like and so there's just much so much shit. Stuff. And I was like, I was like, wow, I really don't know what I'm gonna do. And, and then it zoomed I, out I, even I, more, I'm... and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm. I regrettably admit that I actually, when I first played Assassin's Creed Four, I cleared that entire fucking map. <laughs> wow. Well, I did, man. Go to bed. Yeah, but, I. Um, I want to look at the map and be like, "Yo, sweetie, I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna talk to you." We, <laughs> we like, wait, why? I mean, Watch Dogs has a map probably the same size, if not bigger, hopefully. As Witcher three, and you know I love you, but nah, nothing's nothing's really I that put... big. I don't even know how The Witcher is that big. <laughs> <laughs> they somehow make it I can, work. I can hope, can I? I think uh, when you have the disc in there, uh, like, at least if you're not playing on PC, like they delete most of the game while you're not playing, yeah, not and it's just like, oh shit, he start, he's playing again. Oh, download shit. all quick, of it real quick. Where the frame rate drops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like download download it real quick. <laughs> So the game is just deleting pieces. The, the longer you go without playing it, it just deletes more and more of the map until you, you click the application again. I could see you walking forward and you turn around and there's just like darkness behind you. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's just like, Quick, oh, he's oh, turning he's around. Load the textures back. So. <laughs> but um, that's pretty much all I had to say. Did you guys want to add anything else? or? No. Like, I can talk about this for like a good hour. But yeah, I'm not. I'm not down to to make a podcast just yet on it. So I wanted to I keep it kind of brief right now. No, well, that's pretty much it. All right, cool. Well, uh, y'all know what to do. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Suck a dick. Bye. <laughs>